the good thing about God, listen, the more you have of Him, the more you will want Him. Yes. So why settle for just the bonus when you can have the jackpot price? Yes. God wants us to know Him, which is why He allows seasons of need and weakness, because these are the things that He uses to turn us back to Him. Ah, may sinabi mo kanina eh, na magtataka ka eh. Ba't ba akong binala sa layos din? But if you were paying attention also to the story of Daniel, because God was with him, it became Daniel's din. Diba? Nikki, welcome to your den. Diba? Here, the lions go, meow! Diba? You're the lion tamer for the Lord. Diba? At yung lahat din, lumana ng palataya. Hindi nyo kinakailangang makisama para makisama. Ang buong katotohanan, gusto nyo manghawa. Manghawa kayo ng katinuan. Be contagious in your righteousness. Hindi yung kayo nakakaladkan. Tama yung pangaligari. Take me out of the dark. But there are times when God takes us out of the light and brings us into the dark so that we can be a light there. In fact, pag pinagpala ka nga ng sobrang pagpapala minsan, those blessings can draw you away from the Lord. And because of that, those quote-unquote blessings are not real blessings at all. Kaya mga, thank you Lord, tumama ako sa loto. Huwag <laughs> kang mag-thank you kay Lord, kasi walang kinalaman si Lord doon. Kung may nagtanong na yun, may nagtanong, Pastor, yung bang loto, nanalo ko, magtatights ba ako? Diba, hindi na. Bakit? Hindi naman kay Lord galing yun eh. Talaga, Pastor, pinag-pray ko yun eh. May sumagot, pero hindi si Lord. Bakit? Unang-una, hindi pagpapalain ni Lord ang katamaran. Hindi rin pagpapalain ni Lord ang kasukangan. God will not bless anything that is not of His kingdom. So, na-bless ka, yes. Pero hindi ka rin kay Lord John. Tandaan nyo, si Satanas, kinalo ko si Jesus. I will give you all of this if you will bow to me. So, may demonic blessing. Huwag nyo nga habulin nyo. Seek to be blessed by the Lord. Lastly, ang sabi ng Panginoon, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Bottom line, God wants to give Himself to us. But the only way that can happen is we will give ourselves to Him. Nasubuo mo naman makakusap sa taong nagpe-text. Diba? Kausap mo eh, diba? Sarap pakukin. Pakukin mo na nga yan! Ito malungkot minsan kausap mo sila, ganun ka eh. Oh Lord, Thou art majestic. Majestic is Your name in all the earth. Pero pag binakmas ni Lord yung ano mo, Lord, give me a boyfriend. Diba? Sige na Lord, 45 na ako. Give me a boyfriend. Give him. Binuwala mo ka eh. God wants your undivided attention. He wants you. You know why? Because He loves you. Tell the person next to you, God loves you. Sabi nga nung kay Dino ko, God does not ask much of us. He just wants all of us. Diba? In closing, the more of us He has, the more of Him we shall have. By all means, Seek to be blessed by the Lord. Madali lang naman yun eh. Walk in His ways. Walk in righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. But don't stop there. Don't just seek the blessing. Seek the one who blesses. I hope tonight, the testimony and the word will work together in your heart. 
So that if you still have that hunger that Nikki spoke of, you will ask Jesus to fill that hunger tonight. I'm going to sh uh, say a short prayer. I'm going to invite you to pray with me. And if you've never given your heart to Jesus, now would be a good time. Now would be a good time. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you and we honor you. Indeed, you are the Lord who has nothing but the best plans for us. Your desire is not to harm us, but to prosper us and to give us a beautiful future. But Lord, more than this, your desire is to give us yourself. And Lord, we've come to understand that the only way this will happen is if we will give you ourselves. And so tonight, we'd like to do that, Lord especially for those of us who've never done it before. Tonight, if you're here, and you're hearing these words for the first time, and you've never really thought about it, I want you to know that God loves you, and He wants to bless you, to give you a hope and a future. But that will only happen if you will surrender to Him. Not to religion, not to this group, but to Jesus. And to do that, all you need to do is say a simple prayer. And if you'd like to do it, I invite you to say this prayer with me. Let's pray all together. Lord Jesus, thank you for bringing me here tonight. Thank you for the blessing of your word. And thank you for a living testimony that points me to you. I like what I've heard. I want what I've heard. I surrender to you. Forgive me for all my sins. Cleanse me from all my sins. Help me to know you more. Let this be the first day of a new life, walking and getting to know you. I surrender to you tonight. Now let me pray for you. Father God, for everyone who prayed that prayer, especially for those who prayed it for the first time, may they know you. Let your kingdom come and your will be done in and through their life. I commit every person in this room into your mighty hands where they're safest and most blessed. And we trust our God that by virtue of that short prayer, new life has begun and new life will continue. Not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit dwelling in us. Amen. If you pray that prayer for the first time, I want to welcome you to the family of God. The Bible says, unless a man is born in the Spirit, he shall not see the kingdom of God. What happened if you receive, if you pray that prayer with me, is that you were born anew in the Spirit. God has given you a new spirit, a spirit that is alive to Him and His Word. You now have the power to say yes to God and no to sin. And if you want to know more about that, we have weekly Bible studies that will help you grow in your new faith. We will talk more about that later. But for now, we want to bless our special guest. If you would please stand up. Not too close, because you know, you're going to look at And, uh, please join us. Please join us. No, we, we're so happy that you could come and share your testimony with us. And we're, we're blessed to hear both your struggles and your victories. And those of us here who are of the same camp, we promise to pray for her, right? Yes. We will. We'll pray for both of you. And uh, we will pray that you will continue to be a light in darkness and continue to be a living standard. Not the perfect standard, but you know, we're not the noun, we're just the adjectives. And we point to the noun. We point to Jesus. Would you all please join me? Uh, extend your hand towards them. This is a sign of uh, agreement. Let's pray for Nikki. Father God, tonight we are amazed at the power of your Holy Spirit at work in one life. Thank you, Lord, for Nikki. Thank you, Lord, for parents that raised her up in the fear and in the knowledge of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for a church that nurtured her and gave her everything she needed so that when she finally engaged the world for which you prepare her, she is complete and ready, more than equal to the past. But now that she is in the thick of battle, Lord God, we bless her in the name of Jesus. 
we speak your mighty presence and anointing upon her life. That no matter what she does, whether she sings a song or becomes part of a television program or whatever her many talents enable her to do, she will shine with the glory of Christ. And that her words will not just sound good, they will actually be good. They will be words of wisdom and life, words of consequence, words of power, words from the heart of God. Grant her, Lord God, your enabling grace that when people see her and are blessed by her and are drawn to her and ask her for counsel grant her the enabling grace not to speak from her own mind but to speak from your heart Lord God and Father I pray that you will bless her and her boyfriend that through their example young people will see the beauty of a holy relationship where God is in the center. The beauty of a God-fearing man and a God-fearing woman walking hand in hand and side by side in the darkest places of the world, not consumed by darkness, but blazing in the power and in the presence of your Holy Spirit. Lord, I commit them into your mighty hands where they are safest and most blessed. And we thank you, Lord, because we know that your plans for them are not to harm them, but to prosper them, to give them a hope and a bright future. Lord, let your kingdom come and your will be done in and through their lives. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Gaya po ng ating sinabi kanina, we welcome you to the ABS-CBN Fellowship. ABS-CBN is Active Believers Serving Christ, Blessing Nations. No? And I um, just wanted to, hindi uh, alam po I just wanted to uh, give a short time to one of our people whom God is taking to the nations, one of the founding members of the fellowship, just to say hi and give a quick, kamusta? Uh, like to call on... Lita Chudosho. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, um, this fellowship started in 2000, uh, in the year 2000. And I just want to thank God and praise Him for His goodness and faithfulness uh, in the fellowship. Uh, I was part of the core group when we started and I just thank God because um, I just came from Logos Hope, uh, the floating book fair session na <laughs> um, I've always worked behind the scene. I'm part of the production of TFC before. So it's really been a blessing to be able to carry ABS-CBN Fellowship or ABS-CBN to the nations. I'm, uh, yung mission ko, vision and mission ko is to be an active believer, serving Christ, blessing nations, and literally, ginawa na ni Lord yun. I've been everywhere uh, proclaiming His goodness and... <laughs> no, I'm just really thankful because we've been praying for this for so many years and right now when I came back after two years, three years of not being here, every time I return, uh, I've been here for the... 10 years anniversary and I've seen people uh, accepted Christ and lalo na ngayon, I've seen so many workers. Uh, we started with five <laughs> and blessing na kung makarating lahat yung point na yun. And, and it's really been a blessing na dumami tayo na yun ito. And I just want to encourage everyone, um, stay true to God. Tama yung sabi ni Nikki Hill, uh, it's a battlefield. <laughs> it's a battlefield here. <laughs> no, it's really a battlefield and and that's what we've been called uh, to be there. Uh, hindi, hindi accidental that you've been here in ABS-CBN, the most influential station, <laughs> as I might say. Um, yun din yung ginagamit ni Lord sa akin. He needed to raise me up bago niya ako alisin dito. Or else ko naiwan ako production assistant. Walang maniniwala na tinawag ako ng Diyos sa <laughs> 
So he raised me up first, gave me promotions, and led me to meet sila Miss Chit na honestly, hindi ko akala na gawin mga kaibigan ko sa Minamista yan. Kasi parang, andito ako. <laughs> but ganun si God trumabaho. Walang levels, walang positions. Uh, everyone, let's work together to proclaim God's glory in ABS and outside of this network. Thank you and as you can see we're flashing here several schedules of uh, bible studies throughout the week and i believe we have printed copies of these and uh, you can avail of them at the desk in front uh, we encourage you to be a part of a cell group because in these groups, that, that's where the rubber meets the road, Ikanga, no? You will find brothers and sisters in Christ who will stand with you and pray with you and every now and then be pray you. And uh, we are all part of the same team. I am proud to be a family of the human being. I'm not But uh, I've seen this fellowship grow and I thank the Lord for what He's doing. Alright? Shall we all stand? Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for an amazing night. And we pray, Lord God, that the things we have heard and seen and received from you would stay with us like good seed, finding good soil in our hearts. May your seed draw, grow roots in the soil of our hearts. And may we bear much fruit for your glory. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and grant you His peace. Let the peace of Christ rule your hearts. Let the words of Jesus dwell in you richly. And from now on, whatever you do, in word or in deed, do it for the glory of Him who loves you and has a plan for your life. Amen. Amen.